A new exhibit at Wellesley College's Davis Museum is the talk around town, especially this piece, a sleepwalker staged in the heart of campus. This week on Inside Wellesley, we sit down with the museum's director to learn about the exhibit and the artist behind it. We now have on view Tony Mattelli New Gravity, which includes new work by Tony Mattelli on two floors of the museum and two outside sculptures. I've been working with Tony for, mm, I don't know, since the late 1990s. So um, we've been talking about this exhibition for about two years. He's best known for a kind of hyper-realism, um, for objects that upend what we commonly understand to be sculpture both in the fact of their um, meticulousness and their quality of simulation. They appear to be real things, and in fact, of course, they're real things, they're sculptures, but there's a, a kind of mimicry um, that is, uh, I think, characteristic of his work. It's also the fact that they confound expectations about the subject matter for sculpture. So we are here with windows uh, that don't open onto anything. They don't function in the way that we expect windows to function. They don't allow us to see through, but rather they, um, they prevent us, they block us. So here we are on the lower level of the museum where we have uh, windows and walls and mirrors. On the upper level, which is entirely different architecturally and, and very open to uh, rooftop skylights, we've placed work that kind of defies gravity. And this has you know, to do with the title of the exhibition, of course, right? We have the heavier work on the lower level and the work that appears quite magically to exceed our expectations for gravity or the rules of gravity um, on the upper level. There's a small gallery there, Jobson, where you might conclude your visit. And in that gallery is a very tall picture window. Through that window, in a long cinematic shot, you see the small sleepwalker out in the snow. The, the figure looks forlorn and wandering and alone and very vulnerable. I think it's very moving. And we wanted to create a, a kind of resonance and a dialogue between inside where we expect to find art and outside where we don't usually expect to find art. We also placed um, a stray dog, which is another one of the, uh, the sculptures, um, near the Clapp Library. And that object has the same kind of uh, complex feeling. I think both evoke a sense of tenderness, um, a sense of empathy, at least they are intended to. We had an extraordinary turnout for the opening. Um, you know, there's been a lot of press about the sleepwalker who's outside, and I think that fueled tremendous interest in coming to the opening. We had about 350 people in the building. Students were hanging over the balconies while Tony was lecturing, which was fantastic. I think attendance has risen sharply, um, and certainly, uh, visits to our website have risen sharply. Um, the thing is, it, it was so unintended that um, I'm, I'm glad that people are coming to see um, Sleepwalker in the context of the exhibition. I'm also glad that they're coming to see for themselves because if we teach anything, we teach people to come and see for themselves and to use their own critical skills in response to what they encounter in the world. That's that's one of the ways we work. You know, a campus community alive with conversation about art and about the way that art sparks ideas and feelings is a very, is a very lively place to be. This is really an extraordinary moment. And I think it's um, one of the ways that Wellesley shines, that here we are in this moment and everyone's participating.